What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here for the last review of the night. Now, um, I will say you guys will see another review tomorrow. Sometime I don't know when it will be. I will be reviewing the show Married at First Sight. I gotta sit down and watch that three hour show. But we'll do that. But this is the Encore. BT presents the Encore Season 1 Episode 7. And the episode was titled Cherished. So there are two more episodes left after this episode. This episode, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The twins, I, I just still don't see it for the twins. The twins are ter terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But you guys, before we get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any of the other ones on the channel and not already subscribed, do me a favor. Stop taking me out on a date and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell button, hit all the buttons on the channel. Now, without further ado, let's get into this review, shall we? All right, the episode. We see Cinnamon. Cinnamon is in the booth with Misha doing some vocals. I was like, OMG. The vocals were terrible. Mm, 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 mm. Meanwhile, the twins are upstairs telling, you know, I don't know which one is which. So I'm just going to say Fallon and Felicia, they were having a conversation about Coast, what happened with Cosign, right? And now they want Cosign out of the house as well as Keely, who honestly got in this episode, got on my last nerve. So then they go downstairs and they tell him that they don't want his production on any other records. And she says, you know, you can keep, go, don't leave, right? So then she starts yelling, the twin starts yelling at Cosine, right? And he was like, you, you know, like, if you don't have to yell at me, which that is true. She didn't have to yell at him, right? So then um, she says, you know, you stopped my song, but you wouldn't do that to another. You wouldn't do that to a man. And I was like, okay. I mean, I, I guess I get where she's coming from, but not really. Now, Keely, I really wanted Keely to to just to, to shut the hell up. So Cosign was like, so y'all not going to get your girl or no, nothing like that? And no, we're with her. Like, I really wanted Keely to shut up. So then Misha comes in and, you know, he's looking at Misha and Misha's like, you know what, with this one, I don't really know what's going on. So I'm not going to pick your side or her side. But Keely, however, just wants Misha to just blindly be on their side, right? Girl, Keely is something annoying. Like, it's just like, my, my here's my thing with Keely, and I must probably repeat this more than once throughout this review. Keely is everywhere everywhere right she is with them when it comes to dance and she is with them in the studio but keely has said from day one she is not a part of the group she is the creative director but what have you actually done in the role of a creative director absolutely nothing keely go away from me with this i am sick of looking at damn keely at this point i'm sick of looking at keely williams i'm actually sick of looking at keely and the damn twins I'm sick of them, sick of them. Let's move on. All right, you guys, so then Cosign. So Cosign tells them, you know, he was working with Misha on her vocals and then Felicia came down with disrespect. So then Keely, like Keely, my issue with Keely is Keely fans the flames. She gets the shit started and then she just stirs, she stirs, she stirs the pot up, stirs it up, stirs it up, and then you know, when it gets hot, you know, it's like she gets on my damn nerves. And I'm so glad that Pam went off on her, right? Pam told her, you know what, you start, what you doing is starting to get under my skin. I'm like, finally, somebody said it to Keely. Like, y'all made Aubrey to be the big bad villain when Aubrey kept telling Keely, fuck you and stop talking shit about me. Y'all made Aubrey the villain, but it's really that damn Keely. Period. Point blank it is keely so then we see irish and misha downstairs and they feel like there are some floaters in the house so they feel like you know the twins plus that terror keely they are once you know they they start the mess right but then you have the people in the middle who don't really speak who don't really speak up and that would be your pam your um your pam your shamari and your nibias right I'm gonna agree with them. I'm gonna agree with them. Here I go. I, it says I can't stand that damn Keely. 
So then we see them outside, right? So now what they have to do is they have to re-record. They have to re-record the songs that Ira was on, right? They're saying that Ira was on every record, but how deep was I mean, like, was she like? Did she have leading roles on the songs? And then Misha, Misha made an actually kind of a good point, but the twins got upset, right? Misha wants to know if there are any more parts on the songs, and then the twins get pissed off saying, you know, she's getting under their skin because she asked if there are any more parts on the song. Like, grow the hell up. The thing with the twins is I don't think the twins know how to work well with others, and Cosign actually said that. I think that's the issue when it comes to the twins. The twins do not know how to work well with anyone that's not themselves. And that's going to be a big problem for them. I hope that their careers can sustain with being on this show. I can't, I, I, if, if I was someone in the industry, I would never work with them because I just, their attitudes are terrible and I just wouldn't want them in my studio. Like they, I'm like, you cannot come in my studio. Like, I'm not going to argue with you. Like, it's just not going to happen, right? So then I want Keely just to shut the fuck up. You know, they're talking about that they are worried about, the twins are talking about, you know, um, Misha and Iris are just worried about who sounds, you know, they're, they're more worried about, you know, having a part on a song instead of what actually sounds good. God, these two are working my nerves. Like, I don't know who I dislike more, the twins or Keely. Actually, all three of them are one and the same. God, they are irritating the hell out of my spirit. Like, they really irritated my spirit. Irritated it. Irritated it. Irritated it. I'm going to pause here and we're going to move forward. All right, you guys. So, we, then we see Misha. So, Misha's actually trying to talk to Felicia, right? But Felicia got this stank-ass attitude saying that, you know, she, I'm good. I'm good. That's the problem with you two. That's the problem with freaking Frack, Phineas, and Ferb, whichever one you want to call them. That's the issue with them. They 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 think too highly of themselves, right? So Irish and Misha. Now I will say with Irish and Misha, why are y'all outside smoking? Like that's messing with your vocal. That's messing with your vocal cords as is. That's why y'all don't sound that good. I mean, y'all don't sound good. But I'm somebody pointed that in my comment section. One, the ladies are lazy. Two. When it comes to Irish and Misha, yes, they might not be the best vocally, but what they could do is put them on a song, put them on a track, but when it comes down to when you actually go to mix and master the song, auto-tune the hell out of them. Like, auto-tune their asses and make them sound how you want them to sound. It's not that hard, but the twins, like I said, the twins plus Keely bring the drama, and I'm actually over it at this part, at this point. Um, so Irish and Misha talk and they feel a way about the twins, right? And the drama, but they st at this point, they still don't have any parts on the songs. So then we see the twins go in the studio and they see the fact that Cosign has sent flowers and Cosign has addressed the flowers to all the women and not just Felicia or Fallon. And they feel some type of way. But meanwhile, the other ladies are looking like, oh, he sent, a you know, they read the card. The card was nice. They're like, oh, he sent wine. He sent this. He sent that. We're working. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm -mm. Those twins would have got slapped if I was in that house with them. Those wigs would have been off of their head. Like, seriously, those raggedy ass wigs. God, the twins are so annoying. So, the twins plus Keely, they not really feeling that. Keely still feels that this is chauvinistic. I'm like sending flowers is chauvinistic. Okay, I guess so, Keely girl. Have at it. I actually think it was a nice gesture, but whatever. So the twins, like I said, they're playing their music while the other ladies looked at what he sent. So then the other ladies, they do. We see them later. They're sitting outside by the fireplace, right? And what they're gonna do? I guess Misha must have put this together because what they're doing is letting go of negativity from the past. Keely, Keely, Keely. Ooh. God, I can't stand it, girl. So she's, so the thing that she's throwing away from the past is a bucket of KFC fried chicken, right? So she said that she contradicted herself. She said she did not throw a bucket of chicken at um, Notori. But then she said she did. You know, she said she called my mom a bitch and I threw whatever I had at her. And we just so happened to be in a fast food restaurant. So you did throw some chicken at her. Fine. Own up to it, girl. Whatever. Don't care. 
One of the twins have a, has a letter from her dad. She's angry toward him, I guess, because they went broke in the group. I don't know. Don't care. Really don't care about the twins at all. Pam, she's has something. You know, she says she was a liar and that she's still dealing with stuff. Pam, girl, you still dealing with stuff at this present day. I really do feel bad for Pam. I really feel bad for Pam because Pam is struggling with her sexual identity. Pam, you're a lesbian. It's okay. We love you. Like, it's okay. And God loves you. Pam was a lesbian. Sorry to say it. So then Misha's burning some legs because she says that she's not the best dancing girl. We know that Shamari is burning a VHS tape of, um, their, from their Blackout album, which actually never came out. The other twin is burning a CD. And then Nivea, oh my God, Nivea, I really, really want to cry with Nivea. Nivea burnt a rose that she had from her mom's funeral. And, you know, this is just for her to accept that her mother is no longer here. I was like, oh God, poor Nivea. And then we do see later in the episode, well, actually after this scene, she got emotional, right? She was thinking about, Aubrey, you know, what happened with Aubrey, the fact that Aubrey left. And, I, and I, I'm like, oh no, Nivea, please don't leave, right? She got very emotional. And then I love the fact that Pam and Shamari, they sat with her. But she told them, you know, like, I'll come inside. I just need a moment by myself. And they were like, okay. But, you know, we love you. And I, lo I, like, I like that scene. But let's move on. All right, you guys. Next up, Keely. I'm sick of Keely. Period, period, period. Why is Keely asking? So she's asking who's interested in dancing. I thought you weren't in a group. Like I said, as the creative director, you have not done anything that is creatively directing. So Keely, like I said, she's annoying the hell out of me at this point. Like I want her to shut the entire, I just want her to shut the fuck up. Like she's annoying me so much. So then we see her, like I said before, she's in the studio when the girls are working. She's in the dance studio when the girls are working because Shamari, Irish, and Misha, so they're dancing. They're going over the choreography for the song, I believe it's Go, Don't Leave, right? And now her ass is right there trying to come at Irish and Misha. I'm like, Keely, go somewhere. Like, go away. Like, go. Oh, I'm at the end of the episode. Okay. But Keely, like, like I said, Keely is annoying me. Like, it, she's a shit stir. Like, she's literally a shit stir. But when the... Actually, you know, when it gets hot in the kitchen, Keely gonna run. We gonna talk about that in just a minute, right? So then, you know, she's, she, you know, Irish and Misha feel a way about her. Like, I would too. The thing, like I said, she's she's not in the group, so she's a creative director. But here you are with me talking about the one-two step, and you ain't even gonna do the one-two step on stage with us. Why are you coming at me? And then she's telling them, you know, how the dance moves go. And Misha was like, I think they changed it. And then she has the iPad showing it to him. Keely, do me the biggest favor. Go away. Go away, girl. Go away. Like, you are irking my spirit at this point. So then we see them down in the studio, and she's talking to the twins, and Shamara was down there. She's like, I'm very irritated right now. And they're like, why? She says, because Irish. Irish thinks she knows everything. Like, I was up there trying to help her with the choreography, and she doesn't want to listen to me. And, I mean, if you want it to look bad, then you go ahead and do that. And then the twins chime in talking about, you know, yeah, they're on stage. You know, the camera's going to center in on, on Misha. Camera four on Misha. Camera three on Misha. Meanwhile, Irish and Misha are, are upstairs overhearing what they're saying, right? So Irish and Misha go down there and say, hey, if y'all going to talk shit, make sure the door is closed. And I was like, exactly. And then Irish checked Keely's like, girl, if you, say, if you got something to say about me, Say it to my face. Like, don't talk behind my back. And she's like, well, I did say it to your face. I said, no, you did not. I had, I had to hear you in order for it. Now, like I said, if you felt some type of way, you should have came to me. So then the twins say, well, you're only as strong as your weakest link. And Nivea was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's rude. You just called her weak. She's like, it was a, it was a figure of speech. But you, I mean, you do realize that that figure of speech means everyone else in the group is strong you're only as strong as your weakest link together we might be all strong together we we can be you know together we're strong like a, like a chain but if there's a break in the chain 
that's if there's a loose part of a chain or a rotten part and it's it's bad it's just one part it breaks girl these twins getting on my nerves it's their delivery then they got defensive about talking shit i'm like but y'all were just talking shit about the girl oh my god these twins get on my nerves i will say i'm glad that nivia stood up for the um for irish and misha and then the twins the twins were going back and forth with Nivea for a minute, but I, like I said, I'm glad that Nivea was defending Irish and Misha, and she did not back down one time. But she went upstairs to go to her room, right? And when the twins went up there, she was like, get out. Like, she went up on them. She went off on them. She told them to back down. And then she walked up on You walking up on me, Keely? Keely was like, whoa. Keely backed up. That's what I was saying. Keely is, like I said, she serves the pot. She, you know, she's banning in the flames, but when, the, when, it gets, when going gets tough, she gets her ass in the back of a corner. And at the end of it, Nivea went home. Once again, this is all at the hands of who? The twins and that damn Keely Williams. Mm. I am so sick of Keely. I'm so sick of the twins. Honestly, I'm sick of Irish and Misha as well. But Irish and Misha don't bother me as much as the twins and Keely. It's really Keely. If we can just boot Keely and, and 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 the twins, I know some of y'all like the twins, but they they have the worst attitudes. They have the worst approach. They're just not easy to work with whatsoever. The twins are just not easy to work with at all. That's it, you guys. Um, like the video, leave your comments in the comment section below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell button so you guys are notified when I drop anything else and share the video. Until the next one, stay safe. Take care of yourselves wash your hands wear a mask or not whichever one you guys do do be blessed be safe and i'll see you guys later i'll see you guys tomorrow for married at first sight i don't know when the video will be up but i will see you guys for married at first sight bye guys